Let's talk about proper tongue placement on the French horn for articulation. When the, when the uh, notes need to be separated so that your audience can hear that you are actually separating the notes, sometimes a da or a la sound is not going to give you much separation and those people way up in the bleachers or in row Q are not going to be able to hear. They're going to think you're slurring everything. Now, right now you can hear some separation, but I, I guarantee it in an echoey place, you're not going to be able to hear. So it's best to try to lower the tongue and maybe get it between your teeth. So you're actually, there's actually like a little bit of, of blockage of, of the air going on so that when you remove your tongue to articulate, you're actually releasing sound rather than attacking it. So think of it, think of the release as happening, you know, just simply as a, as a substitute word for the word attack. Attack is er, releases, okay? You uh, release the sound by getting the tongue out of the way as quickly as possible and using lots of air, okay? Hopefully the audience will be able to hear the separation of the sound, even the people way in the back. So, so because the French horn is an instrument where the sound actually has to go bounce off a wall, uh, proper tongue placement, proper articulation, cutting off the sound, releasing the sound to your audience is going to give them a much more effective way of hearing you. So you want to play for the people that are out in the audience, not just for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you use the uh, tonguing techniques that best suit you and best suit your audiences.